I got him. It's a big one. Yeah, that's a good one. You keep fishing, stuff. You're good. So I switched over, and I'm using a fire minnow, chartreuse. First cast. Again, first cast. Not as big as mine, Troy, but it's Not close. Not as big, but it's close. It's close. close. There's Just fish a, coming at it. They're coming up to that fire Barber. float. Oh my God, look at the size of that trout. Folks, I think that fish is, is close to eight pounds. It looks huge. They're just monsters in Gatlinburg. Oh. And he just lost it. No. No. Another one. Ooh, pretty, that's a pretty nice one fish. on this one. Look at this beautiful rainbow. First cast with a, what was that? A glow in the dark fire net. Okay, so we are probably the 30th group of people to try to fish this place today. It's four o'clock in Gatlinburg right now. We're at a really, really popular spot. Every time we've walked by this spot, there's been people where fluff are, people standing and fishing from the bridge and people on that side. Why? Because there's tanks here in Gatlinburg. We're gonna come and try to be that 31, 32, 33, number of anglers that are fishing these fish, you know, and the key is you gotta go really light. Fluff's got two pound test on, and we're gonna see if we can get these fish to bite. Now, we, we think it may be a few minutes longer for the, for the sun to get off the water, but I don't know if you can see this. Fluff is sitting here, and right below us, right here, there's a big rock, okay? And underneath that rock, there's fish that just come and keep popping out, and they're big. Uh, I mean, I mean, really big. I mean, like, Cripple Creek big, I mean like Gatlinburg big, I mean like Cherokee big, they're, they're, they're right there. And we just want a chance to catch these fish. Oh my God. Well, I lied to you. It didn't take the sun to come off the water. It took about drift number 500? 350. Yeah, I mean, we literally have drifted for over an hour here and we got this big fish to bite. And it's, it's incredible. When it comes to catching these big ones you do need to take your time even if you got larger line i've only got two pound on here but i've had fish smaller than this break six pound just because i was too excited oh, look at the size of that fish come on come on come on come on come on get in there oh my god oh my god <laughs> and the crowd goes wild Another tank, another day in Gatlinburg. Ghost drone fire minnow right in the side of the mouth. Woo! Hi guys, I'm out here fishing in Gatlinburg, as you can see. And right here has been one of my produ most productive baits for the day. It's a ghost drone fire minnow, size 14 fire hook, two itty bitty split shots, quite close to it. A lot of people will say those split shots are too close. No, they're not. They're not too close. This right here creates half the action that comes off of this because when you twitch it, it lifts the sinkers up and it also puts a reverse movement onto this. So it's constantly moving back and forth. It's just like a real swimming minnow. I've got, I'm running a uh, Dobbin Sierra trout panfish rod, two pound test, seven foot four inch. It's an ultra light, of course. And uh, I've just been absolutely whacking them today on this. What do we got this? Oh, it's a good one. Oh, another nice it's a good one. one. Boy from West Virginia, your time. Gatlinsburg, Tennessee, is still catching fish. <laughs> Look at this beautiful Tennessee trout. You know, I want to show you today what I've been using. It's the first time. If you uh, look here in my hand, that's all it is. It's a pink fire net. It's new, local, Sporting good shops, they're coming to them soon. You gotta try them out, they're epic. <laughs> Look at that out there. Did you see that fish? I wanna see it closer. Is it just sitting on the bottom? No, it's going upstream. These aren't fish, they're still here. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> West Virginia boy on it, Tennessee again. Pink fire, Ned. 
done it again, baby, right here. My buddy Troy taught me everything I know. That's right. Another big one. Look at that pink fire net is the crap. That might cast? be, my, that's my second cast with it. Now, when Pat brought his little tiny stream rod like this, he didn't know where he was gonna be catching tanks. So you see this rod bent over like it's got nothing left. It's a small stream rod. Gatlinburg's got some big fish. Okay, push it, bring it up, bring it up. Oh, does Pat have it in him? Oh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, another fire net, pink baby. I'm on him here in Tennessee. I switched over to that black and green net. Second cast. Big. It looks like another big fish. Big fish. That's I, I have a question for all of you. Do they stock any small fish in Gatlinburg? Because all these are big. I mean, these are huge. Oh, get, Pat, him, get, get him! Get him! Oh, Pat! Oh. Folks, you guys saw that right here. That's why we don't let Pat net most of the time. But, oh my gosh, that... Oh. <laughs> that trout are so big, it splashed me in the face where I couldn't see. And I missed him with the net. Sorry, Troy. That's all right, Pat. You heard it first here, folks. The trout splash Pat in the face with the water. You know, uh, who's been to SeaWorld? You've been to SeaWorld? You know how Shamu goes like whack, whack with the tail and gets everybody in the first five rows? That's what happened to Pat. He wasn't ready for it. So as you can see, we've been tearing up fish on these fire nets. And I went back to the black and chartreuse. And what I did is I took my bobber off on this one. This one's a little bit deeper hole. So it's a little faster current. I put two split shots up above, if you can see here. I put two split shots above the Ned, the fire Ned. And it's been on fire. I've caught four fish out of this hole already. Fish on, great big one. So Troy said to me, Chris, I have one request. Just don't let Pat try to net this. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Fluff has better boots. <laughs> He's got one more run. Maybe not. He's got to run ooh, right ooh. in the net. Run into the net. Look at the tank. Look at the girth on that thing. Look at that net in its mouth. Uh, have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, God, it's another tank. What are they feeding these fish down here? <laughs> <laughs> He's running from me. In the net, baby. In the net. <laughs> you know, we've got some beautiful fish in West Virginia, but nothing like this. Hey guys, y'all see me catch a couple of nice ones out of this hole right here, and uh, this is what I was running. I've got a fire float, and about four to five foot under it. We've got a new fire tube, and this is the pink one. And this, are, I mean, it is just a killer. I've been, I haven't even been moving. I've just been throwing it out, letting it drift naturally with the current, and they have been absolutely smoking. This one ain't small either. All right, well, you guys got to look at this real quick. Take a look down there. Pat, what are you doing? Pat is in the tree with a fish. You know you're from West Virginia when? You're in a tree, and the squirrels are falling out, and banjos are playing, and hey, Pat, I'm going to sell Pat's rod today. $20. $20 <laughs> Pat's rod today. Does he really have a fish yeah, and he's in the tree? Here, you want to fill it? <laughs> no, I can't. I don't have a license. Oh my God, it's right there. It's huge. I know. I can't, I can't do nothing with it. Oh my gosh. Big rainbow trap. Pat, you are one in a million, baby. <laughs> West Virginia, baby. We are in Tennessee. <laughs> in the tree. <laughs> Here, just jump up and grab the tree. We're old, Chris. Oh my God. I've never got seen it. All right, go. reel that in. Oh, oh it's a tank. Dude. Yeah. It's a tank. Yeah, it's, it's this one. All right. We got two fish on. Two oh, in the net. My one gosh. more on. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this fish. Unreal. We had three Unreal. on at once. <laughs> Unreal. That's awesome. We're going to keep going here. This one. <laughs> like I said, we got beautiful trout in West Virginia. Gatlinburg, Tennessee is where it's at today. Getting close, you're getting close. This way. Oh, God. Oh, no, head first, Troy. I know, first. but he's got to get Are it. Are you a steelhead guy? 
Oh, oh, I just fell into a tree. And we got him. Unreal. Fire tube right in the... The new Smell. fire tube. Guys, I just caught another absolute tank out of this hole right here where Pat and Troy and I have just been slaying them all day today. So we've had about 20 people come. Obviously, this is a real public area. You know, dozens of people are just walking by these streams and they're all asking us the same question. Where the heck can we get those fire minnows and fire nets? Hey, Walmart right in Sevierville has got them. Uh, we're told that Cabela's and Bass Pro in East Tennessee will have them shortly. And hey, Smoky Mountain Angler right here in town. Go get them, have fun because we're catching just tanks out here today. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from downtown Gatlinburg, Tennessee, where we're fishing literally in city limits. We're surrounded by concrete. We are right next to the River House Motor Lodge. It's right on the river, and we're doing two areas. We're doing that area, and then we're doing a bridge just downstream of the Edgewater Hotel. These are two extremely popular places right along the river walkway where there's easy access to the stream now we came out here today and we fished only from about two till about six o'clock and it was an area during a time of year where the park was extremely busy during spring break time there were so many people fishing that we had to whole hop and fish behind people all day now behind people it forced us to basically alter our techniques and by doing that we used really small two and four pound test on our line and we used all artificials simply because the time that we're here is a delayed harvest. So you can't use bait during this time. You can't keep anything. Now you can use these techniques regardless of what time of year it is. Delayed harvest runs from December 1st through March 31st. So you can use these techniques anytime throughout the year or you can use them legally during that delayed harvest when bait can't be used. Now, these guys today caught tank after tank after tank. And every time we looked around, there was an audience watching us catch these huge fish because it's a spectacular place. Where else can you catch this many huge fish right in downtown in an area that is heavily, heavily targeted by people trying to catch the trout that are here? Now, the Gatlinburg Trout Facility does a phenomenal job at creating one of the best urban slash mountain community fisheries basically in the United States by stocking it heavily and stocking it often. Now today, we focused on using a couple of baits. We focused on our fire neds, and they used exclusively the pink and the black and green. And they also switched over where Fluff used a pink fire tube and a ghost chrome fire minnow on a fire hook. And you'll see these guys use fire floats as well. Sometimes they fish baits under a float. Sometimes they twitched them and didn't do that. But it just shows you the tanks that are available in Gatlinburg is one of the few places where there's this many big fish in public water. If you want to catch one of these tanks, head down to Gatlinburg as well, and you have a great chance of doing exactly what we did here today. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. <laughs> Every time. No wonder my wife hates my clothes when I come back for fishing. <laughs>